Happy New Year, everybody. Okay, here I come. I'm going to get you now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to go with your chair, please. I can't even get in there. Oh, don't eat the pencil. No eating. No eating pencils. What are you doing? Excuse me. Come on. I'm going to grab your shirt. <laughs> you are too ticklish to play this game. <laughs> Happy New Year 2017. Can you believe that? 2017? 2017. It sounds so futuristic. It's here. It's now. 2017. Get ready. So, I'm Danny Dwarf, by the way. Thought I'd you know, got to mention that every time. All right. <laughs>
I promise rationality and stability to model rational behavior, to remain cool and calm at all times. That one can be challenging sometimes. <laughs> to respond appropriately to any given stimulus. That goes with being cool and calm at all times. Um, yeah, those are things that are very important, and uh, I have a whole bunch of strategies I use to, to try to achieve that, to, to try to always be cool, you know, calm. I promise truth to always be open and honest with my children and, and with peaceful people in general. To help my children develop critical thinking skills so they can distinguish fact from fiction and better understand the world around them. And the reason I say um, to always be open and honest with my children and with peaceful people in general, I say with peaceful people because um, if some bad guy you know, wants to hurt someone you love and, and he says, where is this person you love? Um, it's okay to lie to them. You can lie to bad guys uh, in defense. That's another ethic, ethic thing ethical principle. So anyway, as long as you're a peaceful person, I am always open and honest with you. And I'm that way with my kids. So uh, I promise empathy to ask my children sincere questions and actively strive to understand and see things from their perspective. You know, sometimes I have a tendency of uh, putting um, more mature expectations on my kids. Um, I think one reason is because they look a lot older than they are because they're so tall. Um, that's something I, I remind myself of. To see things from their six-year-old or two-year-old perspective. You know, they're very young, very sensitive, and uh, I have to understand that. To apologize whenever I've wronged them. To encourage my children to share their feelings and opinions with me. To show my children sympathy whenever they are troubled or upset. To never forget what it was like to be young. I promise fun to help my children discover experiences that ignite their happiness, to play with my children and try my best to make them smile and laugh every day until they no longer want to play with Papa. If for some reason we can't be in the same place, I'm traveling or they move away, I will call them and still do my best to make them smile and laugh as much as possible. I'm kind of thinking down the road, you know, when they move out of the house. I promise love. To fill our home with love, laughter, and fun. To give my children and their mother big cozy hugs. To make my children feel special every time I greet them. To make sure my children always know how much I love them. I tell my kids I love them all the time. And you'd think they'd be sick of it by now. They're not. Every time I tell my daughter, um, she's like, Goo! <laughs> She gets all like, I don't know what you call it. She just gushes and then she just kind of, you know, jumps up and hugs me. So it's, it's totally worth it. Tell them you love them as much as possible. And at the end, I have love Poppy because that's what my daughter used to call me. So there you go. That's my promise to my kids. Um, and in the morning, you know, when I'm, I'm looking all this over, I'll just, you know, I'll just breathe through the, uh, the headings. I promised my children health happiness, freedom, support, rationality and stability, truth, empathy, fun, love. That's a lot to remember, guys. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's a long list. Um, but that's what it takes to be the parent I want to be. So, um, you know, sometimes I'll just like pick out one or two of these and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to focus on doing a better job at, at, uh, at rationality and stability <laughs> or something like that. So anyway... Um, writing a promise to your kids, it's, it's a really good thing. It, it, it helps you live closer to your values, you know, live in a way that reflects your values more accurately. And, and if you do that, you know, it helps me sleep better at night. So it's a good thing. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, happy 2017. It's going to be an awesome year. Um, I'm really get, looking forward to getting to know you guys and to share my life with you and, um, and having fun with you guys. So let's all let's all have a great year. Every moment is precious. Enjoy 2017.